बिस्मिल्लाहमान रहीम वेलकम टू माई चैनल लर्न मैथ विथ सैयद अली सो कंटिन्यू अवर टॉपिक एंड द सेम क्वेश्चन इन एलजब्राइक एक्सप्रेशन वी हैव कॉन्स विच हैज गॉट एम डॉलर प्राइस एंड द कप्स विच हैज गॉट थ्री डॉलर प्राइस एंड वी हैव नाउ सम एलजब्राइक स्टेटमेंट और सम क्वेश्चन विच इज स्टेटिंग समथिंग अबाउट दिस buying of the cones and cups of the ice cream so the first question says alex spent dollar 32 on ice cream cones and d dollars on cups how many cones and cups did he buy in total so how many cup and cones did he buy in total so what do we have to do we have to understand again the statement and write down the expression which the question is requiring alex spent 32 dollars right 32 dollars means what is the cost of the cone m dollar right so 32 dollar divided by m let's suppose if it, the cone price is 8 dollar so how many cones he buy four so you have to understand it in a way that you can make if the variable is given the value of the variable is given you can make the uh, answer right so what are we are thinking of right 32 dollars is spent on a cone which price we don't know but suppose that price is known as 8 dollars so what you do how many how many cones did he buy for 32 dollars if the cone cost is 8 right so 8 32 divided by 8 we get four cones so here we just make the statement because n is not uh, uh, n is not known or m is not known m dollar m so 32 divided by m is the number of the cones alex can buy now he spent d dollars he spent d dollars on cups now suppose he spent 9 dollars on cup right so 9 dollars on cup and what is the cost of the cup 3 dollar so you will say 9 divided by 3 9 divided by 3 that means he can buy 3 cups in 9 dollars so that means he spend d we don't know how many he bought but we say d d divided by 3 so this is the number of the cones with respect to the algebraic equation and this is the number of the cups just think of like if if the values are given the variables are known you can find out whatever number of the cones he can buy or whatever number of the cups he can buy is just the algebraic statement when you substitute the value of the variable you can get the answer of that particular so it's a generalized algebraic expression where the uh, variables are not known but they are just used whatever the expression or whatever the question is saying we make the statement as per statement right we make the expression so now another thing isa bought nine cones okay isa bought nine cones so what is the price of the cone m dollars so what will be the total dollars nine times m 9m what he bought and got 12 dollars and p cups and p cups so what is the cost of the cup 3 so that means he will be spending 3p on the cups and got 12 dollars right so that means how much did he pay for the treat so he pay for the treat this whole thing this whole amount this is the total dollar he spent he spent on treat right so you have to read the question carefully and it should make sense in your head that what are you doing because sometimes you have to divide sometimes you have to um, you have to multiply right um, and for this explanation uh, another question or example we can take and then we will explain it in some more detail because one of the remote student has asked me something regarding this algebraic expression which i'll going to um, explain it 
uh, after this question. So uh, let's say Lucky and her three sister and her three sisters. So how many people are they? Lucky and her three sisters. That means they are in total four, right? Share the cost of three cones, three cones and R cups. They share the three cones and R cups, right? How much does each child has to pay? How much does each child to pay? Right? How much does each child to pay or has to pay? So now we have to see what we see that there are four people share it, right? What they share? Share the cost of three cones. What is the cost of three cones? So cost is M dollars. So three cones will be three M dollars, right? And R cups. So cups are three dollars each. So that means that is three R, right? And this is the total price. Whatever number we will put, we can get that total price. And then it is shared by four people. So how much each of them will pay is divided by four. So that will your answer or expression for this question. That each, each, each girl will share this much. Will share 3M plus 3R divided by four dollars if we fill it up this expression we want to use make use of this expression let's say and we want to say that okay we know the variables right now we try it like we know the variable let's suppose in this question that the cone price is let's say ten dollars cone price is ten dollars instead of m let's say that cone price is ten dollars right here the price is known and here we know that r cups Maybe R is like maybe six cups, right? We say six cups. So it's known now everything, right? We are saying that Lucky and her three sisters share the cost of three cones, right? Three cones and six cups. Three cones and six cups, right? Now we have the statement. We have the algebraic expression and when we can solve the question now because the variables are known. So, three cones, three cones will cost them three times ten plus three, I am saying six cups. Six cups will cost them six times three, right? And we have to divide it by four. So, it will become 30 plus 18 divided by four, right? So, this will become 48 divided by four. So, this will become 12 dollars. So that means each girl will be sharing $12. If what they bought, they bought three cones at the price of $10 and, and six cups at the price of $3. And then they share the price, right? So we divide it by four because there were four in total and we got that they will spend $12 each, right? So this way you can understand that how the expression is made from the statement you have to read the statement and do the things accordingly now we have to see what else the student has asked me he asked that sometimes in loonies and toonies when we are doing the last video uh, when we how to find out that what to do like we have to divide or we have to we have to multiply. So question asked is how many dollars I have in 25 toonies. 
So, this is what I asked because he was confused. So, students should not confuse. They should, you, they should read the question and then see which way they have to go. How many dollars? So, dollars and toonies, right? Toonies are two dollar. Each toonie is two dollar, right? So, that means you need to know the dollars. So, you have to multiply. And the algebraic expression will be 2 times t is equals to the dollars if you want to calculate the dollars, right? So, how many dollars he has? You have to multiply the two knees with 2, correct? And if the question says, let's suppose, question says how many, how many coins? I have if I have 120 dollars or 120 tunis 120 dollars how many coins means here I am asking tunis how many coins of tunis I have right how many how many coins of toonies I have? How many coins of toonies I have if I have $120 in total? Expression will remain same, but you can see that this time I have to find out T because I don't know how many toonies I have, but I know that I know that I have $120. So you can put in the same expression as before. You can keep your expression or your back expression same and calculate t now you can say that 2 is multiplying by t so i have to shift this 2 to the other side of the equation isolating t that means so 120 divided by 2 and which will give me 60 coins so i have 60 coins of toonies therefore i have 120 dollar right you understand or i can make a new algebraic equation uh, if I don't want to use that, I can say, okay, I have in my head, okay, you have the two knees. So I can say that how many two knees I have. So dollars divided by two is equals to two knees because I know that whatever dollars I have, I have to divide them by two to get my two knees because two knees is two dollar, right? So $120 I have divided by two is equals to two knees, which is 60 two knees. So either way, this is correct, right? 60 toonies. So this way, you have to think over that um, whether your product or whether your statement is talking about more quantities or less quantities. If I have um, quarters and I, am, I want to make the dollars, right? So what I have to do if I have dollars and I want to make quarters. So you have to think over it a little bit and then you can find the solution. If you have four dollars how many quarters you have so each dollar has got four quarters so four dollar will have four times four so your general expression will be whatever dollar you have you have to multiply it by four right and if you are making dollars you have to divide it by four because it is a quarter so think in your head and make the expression a general algebraic expression and then we will do some more exercise in this topic uh, uh, which is algebraic expressions so if you understand and like the video subscribe to my channel press the bell icon button to receive another educational video if you have any question you can always send it to me at s underscore shahid underscore ali at hotmail.com uh, thank you for watching